Okay, in this video, we're going to be adding check marks to this right here when you click. When you click on these, it'll put a check mark. But first, I, I realized that there's a little problem right here. This current color, if you look here in data, the current color, it stores a variable called color name, not just name. So let's update that. And let's check this still works. Okay, so it still works. Okay, so now let's go down here and write a function called add check mark to current color. And you want to do color previews is equal to equal to document dot get elements by class name and the class is color preview okay and there's gonna be a for loop Okay, and then if color previews i dot id, if the id is equal to current is data dot current color dot color name, then do something. So let's take color previews. I dot inner HTML is equal to this. So you want to give it a class of FAS, FA check, and then check mark. Okay, let's see if this is right see if all this works nope it doesn't work let's see why not first this probably isn't even being called yeah it's not being called so up here go here a check mark to current color now now let's see if it works nope color previews okay I did this wrong here Now let's see. Okay, yeah. The only problem is it's not removing them. So let's go down here and create a function. Let's do it above it. Function remove remove check marks. And this should be called at the beginning here. So when a color gets clicked, it will first remove all check marks and then at the end it will add check marks. So here, so it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be, well, it's going to be very similar. Document dot get elements by class name. And the class name is check marks and then for whoops I did something wrong there you saw that right okay let i equal zero then if i is less than check marks dot length i plus plus then you want to say check marks i dot parent node dot remove 
child. This one. Let's see if that works. No, it doesn't. Remove check marks. Okay, let's see here. Let's console.log. Let's see how many times we see that. So it seems like this isn't being called. Well, okay, this should be check mark. Now let's see if it works. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video. This is working pretty well. Actually, let's remove these. Where is that? The next and previous. I don't need that there. These are only for debugging things and building. That's a lot of code right here. Okay, well actually what we could do is, before I end the video, we can go to update in color, and we can put all this stuff in there. Let's copy, comment, save. Let's just put it in there. Let's see if it works still. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this video.